Good day, my brothers and sisters in YouTube harmony. I want to say special hello or shout out to my two ink sisters. When I say I have two ink sisters, I mean my sisters can write. I have one ink sister from my own country. So it's my country sister, ink sister. And I bet you, and I'm telling you, they can write better than me. I've published, but my sisters can write. Hey. And then I have my other sister from Haiti, my ink sister. And my ink sister from Haiti is a philanthropist. The one who's from Africa is a philosopher. By the way, guys, welcome to this park. Do I remember the name of the park? I don't. I used to be, and I used to come to this park all the time for lunch when I worked at the middle school. I worked at the middle school for nine years, my first job ever. My first job as a teacher, well, my second job as a teacher, but my first real job. So my philosopher, oh my God, philosopher, historian, everything, my ink sister from Africa, she knows who she is. My nomadic ink sister, is actually the one who inspired me for this video today but I don't think I'm gonna completely comment do commentaries on her because hers need an entire video of its own because my ink sister from Africa man is a beautiful philosopher when I tell you her writing is beautiful her the stories are deep and my ink sister from Haiti just writes so beautifully man so beautifully but anyways, this is Claudine Etienne against colorism. Welcome to this park. I came here to bring you to this beautiful park in Miami, which is actually across from my job. It's on the river. Uh, it, 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 they, they have built this place up so much. Uh, what you see back there did not used to be there. I think it was just uh, like vacant, like, um, parking, all right, because on the other side used to be where the, it still is, the, uh, the, the carts are over there, and it used to be just messy and dirty and everything, so I'm talking about eons ago, if you count how long I said I have been teaching, and I told you that was my first nine years of teaching, I worked nearby, but let's talk, I've been doing the series on voodoo, so we are going to continue voodoo. But guys, don't let anybody do voodoo on you because that means that they're softening you. You need to be hard. You need to be hardcore in your beliefs. Okay? Pa kite moon for voodoo. Okay? So today we're going... To, uh, so that's why I'm here to help you decode what voodoo is. So my ink sister from Africa was telling me today about her travels. Travels a lot a lot i'm thinking my ink sister from africa needs to have herself a youtube channel probably does you know have herself a youtube channel when you see the way she writes you're like okay this woman is like awesome so she was telling me about the codes the color code co not the cut well the color codes the language codes that i've been talking about the language arts the craft of language okay how um she found them in various countries where she's traveled and i think that is very fascinating because i never think about them uh, in other languages i guess i because i studied english i've tried to decode in english but it's not the same when you decode your own language versus when you're decoding a foreign language and she was telling me that too right um so i really find language codes to be uh, strongest in my native tongue, which is um, my maternal Creole, Haitian Creole. So today we're going to talk about um, Filalang. Okay, Filalang. But before we talk about Filalang, guys, I have something to tell you. Okay, those of you who come here, I don't want you to come in vain. You come here because somehow or another you feel a connection. Be it that you are one of those people yeah oh yesterday i got a couple of guys who got angry at me that's normal some men will say that i am that i am one of those women who are bashing black men i don't bash black men 
okay? I love my Haitian brother to the point that he loves me at. <laughs> Starting at the point that he loves me at. So, so long as he doesn't love me, I am going to reciprocate those punches, okay? And um, I know in all manners that he does not love me. He loves me not, okay? And I know the mannerism. So even if he tries to approach me with what I'm going to talk about, which is I already know when he doesn't love me and to let him see it for himself in case he thinks that I don't see it. I, I need to let him know that I do see it, okay? So I don't bash it black men I just bash the hate okay um, so that's the way it is some people from my culture may not, not understand it that's why I always say you know what I don't venture too much outside of my culture but sometimes when your people hate you so much you need to have friends from other cultures but those friends from other cultures may not necessarily know or understand where you're coming from okay like African Americans their view of black women, like I was, I did my video on um, Go Black, and his view of black women is so demented. I've been in America long enough with African Americans long enough to be able to read what he's doing. But I cannot generalize African Americans because I, don't, I didn't grow up in a household with African Americans to know the deep and the depth of the cultural codes for me to say this is exactly what they meant. But definitely I knew what, um, I knew the depth of the soul of go black especially since he was born in another country he had traveled extensively enough to know better and therefore to be able to read what he is saying when he attacked black women in his video last week or two weeks ago okay sisters and brothers those brothers who want to su support me i'd love to see you but so far i haven't had any brothers come on here and oh yes i did I had two brothers come on and say, we're with you all the way. Thank you. But of course, they're not Haitian brothers. I don't think I've seen any Haitian brothers come and tell me they're with me all the way. But it's all good. I'm just going to keep on the fighting. So anyways, um, color is, color, uh, Claudine Etienne against colorism, guys, is here to stay. Why do I have to stay? I have to stay for the very reasons when I, as I started responding to some of those, uh, messages and comments that i got particularly the haitian men who came on so a couple who came on yesterday again i realized how much my voice needs to be a song that you hear every day whether or not you like that song but you need to keep hearing that song until you get accustomed to it and you start understanding it because people around you are starting to get the gist and not only because i want to become that contagious song that you hate so much that you end up singing even though you hated it uh, but you find yourself singing it because you hear it all every day but it is also because i realize that at one point in my life I didn't have a voice. I had voice. I had I was I had a degree. I had a career. All right. I had potential as a young woman black woman living in America. But I was not allowed to speak within a community. I was not allowed to sit and have dinner with a family. I was not allowed to feel like I was in a family or in a Haitian community. All right. So the, in that way I didn't have a voice. I was being forced to take orders by people who never went to school. By, I used to be a straight-A student, so I understand what it's like to get things correct. By people who I knew were getting things wrong. Sort of like somebody coming and telling me, one of the guys coming and telling me that I need to be checked because he, he, think, because he doesn't agree with my thought. So he feels as if he, is, he has so much authority that his thinking and logic is superior to mine to the point where he has to prescribe me a check. He needs to go and check himself. Or even thinking that I need to be checked because as a homo sapien just like him, he cannot see that I deserve my right of expression, but he deserves his right to come and try to judge me here, okay? So I was being judged by such people. People who used to fail school, people who dropped out of school because they couldn't take it anymore. They were the ones who were determining my fate and future okay because they had husbands because they had men that was supported them because they had lighter skin color all of these things within the haitian community they were given power over me despite all of my potential as an individual they were given power as a collective community supported individual 
So those they scorned, they shunned, and they were going to control. And those they didn't, they they um they didn't scorn. They were going to give empower, no matter what. And this is very likely what's going on with our country. Your white your white skin, the ninety percent of the population who are going support for you to be in power. So many of Asians abroad are supporting for this uh, Guy Philippe to put his white woman as our first lady. So many of them are supporting because they have the backup support. So you see those light skins, that's why they stay in power. All right, and that's why they always, even though they are 10% of the 90 of the population, while us blacks are 90%, they keep getting the power. They put, they match white women with uh, black men so that the white women can still rule and oppress the dark-skinned women, okay, because of the support that they are getting from the majority. So that's the social construct. So today, well, let's talk about filalang because I have to teach you a new term that they, that the voodoo cult uses okay feel along feel along if you i've said it so many times already that if you've um if you've studied french if you know some french you can probably figure out the meaning what feel is feel is a thread you know in my culture back during the time when my mother was a youth of course i wasn't there at the time but i know that i saw the consequences of it is that haitians um for Haitian women, seamstress, you know, sewing, used to be a very popular thing that young girls learned. And my mother, she learned how to sew very well. Um, when we were kids, I mean, she sewed all of our clothes for us and when we, I was in um, New York. So um, she learned that. And um, anyway, the word fil means thread. So the thread that you sew with. A is a preposition to or with with right lung lung is t um not teeth is tongue okay feel along so like threading with your tongue okay so threading with your t tongue the word thread the is, thread is a pun in, in haitian creole feel is a pun so feel doesn't only mean thread it also mean like you know when they say file file means to sharpen Okay, filet, you sharpen, so not like the filet, not the fish filet that you eat, okay? It's like, you, ou filet, ou means you, by the way. Ou filet, a knife, okay? So you, you sharpen a knife, like, you know, if you take two knives and you beat them up against each other, you uh, grind them against each other, so you, you, you are filleting the knife, okay? Um, similar to a thread, you're making it very thin like a thread, right? Um, you also feel it a woman because women do not feel it a man. But these days, God knows, you see women feeling a man. But no, in ancient Haitian custom, in the boondocks days, in the stone ages, like where I came from, right? Women did not feel a man. Oh, by the way, they have they use age to discriminate and to isolate because you see somebody was using age telling me how African tigress is young. I guess she's in her 20s or something and I'm, I must be old so therefore I, I cannot assimilate myself with her. You know, they didn't say it in so many words but they just use the age just to isolate me. That's one of the things I use for discrimination or to justify the discrimination is age but I'm not going there. Okay. But anyway, file a man, file a woman. Okay, me, I don't really know the term because no man ever file me. Because no Haitian man ever feeling me. Yes, I had a Haitian boyfriend when I was in college, you know? And, you know, well, anyway, whatever. <laughs> and did he feel me? Nah, this guy didn't know how to feel it. I mean, he just told me, like, he liked me. <laughs> And of course, it took a little bit more, you know, he had to show his good side, you know, for me to say, okay, let me give this one guy a chance before they kept keep calling me hard headed and do voodoo on me so that I could become soft, you know, so give this guy a chance. So file means the guy, well, usually when a guy file, it's like they pursue you. You know, you don't like the guy. You know, this is why I think, I always think, you know, it's the grimel. Grimel means light skin. It's the light skin women who get filet. Because the light-skinned women, they have all choices. Me, I only had one choice, you know. But anyway, but the light-skinned women, you know, they have like five. So that means that they have choices, right? So, and then the Haitian men, this is what, how they behave. Haitian men, whenever they see one guy who starts to feel a woman, 
all of a sudden all of them come and join the pack you know to feel it a woman that's how they do it if they see a woman that you don't have any body feeling they'll never come after you never they only feel you when they see somebody feeling you all of a sudden oh she's worth something so you see this is if she was white it wouldn't even be a question they would feel it her whether or not she has people but you know as black women oh somebody thinks the black black one is beautiful so they all of a sudden the pack comes and feel it you that's how they do it so anyway file so file usually means like you know they have to pursue this girl for a long time you know what file reminds me of the romantic story if you ever want to read it it's called Federigo's falcon italian story you know you know romance french italian or whatnot so italian sorry Federigo's falcon that man really feel it there's the jazz demona Desdemona was the one that was killed by the black guy, Othello, right? <laughs> like, hopefully, I and Mara will not go to the Othello complex <laughs> because I do wonder where that pregnancy comes from. I mean, the girl... Oh, gosh. I, I'm, I have to di divert a little bit. Guys, so think about it. Rocio finally gets to travel with the travel commander or commando himself protected by him his safety his protection okay and his adventure she gets to share and of course she can only do it because she is white <laughs> some people say fake white but nonetheless her skin is lighter skinned than us blacks and the little kenyan girls okay no kenyan girls would have that girl would have that privilege to travel with a travel commander. So we hear all these African girls, all these African women that I, I, that um, go back to Africa came and attack, you know, the, he attacked the mature ones, okay? Getting murdered and killed. So Rocio is protected by this guy. So think now, she realized she had to give up something in order for her to travel with this guy. And this the, what the guy wanted was a white woman with zebra babies. So she gave it to him so that she can get. So it was a bargain. It was a plea bargain. So, But the question is, how desperate was she? Okay? If, if, uh, if Mara, travel commando, could not have babies, you know, Gitriba? <laughs> Remember the meeting with Mara and Gitriba and the bicycles? And it may have been even, even um, travel commando himself may have set it up that Rocio would get pregnant before they travel. And that was the term for traveling with her. If it was Yitriba, who's the father of the baby. Sorry, Yitriba. I'm just wondering. But anyway, let's continue with our story. <laughs> because travel commander is a trip. So guys, I have yet to hear about the baby daddy when this baby is born. I'll do the genetics test. <laughs> I volunteer right here for free. But anyways, so the file and filler so anyway that's filet now fila long if you think of fila long it's really disgusting these are the guys who stand like at the side of the road and hoo -hoo, baby and they whistle at you i can't whistle like this man. well i can't do it you know like they, the birds are whistling right now <laughs> as well as the airplane but anyway those guys you sit at the side of the road when you're a teenager they whistle at you all the time you know those strange guys and they pass their tongue on their like mm, you know i, I don't want to do it you know you know nastiness you know feel along that's that's the verbal verbal meaning of feel along but the metaphoric meaning of feel along is this i say i'm gonna give you a gift i'm gonna give you something and i and i give you this diamond ring and then when you're like oh and I take it back and I say, I'm sorry, it's not for you. That's fine for my white, beautiful princess right here. <laughs> you know, that is Philalong. Okay, let me get let me tell you an example that America has of Philalong that I learned in second grade here. Okay, it was this it's the song that say, Oh soldier, a soldier, won't you marry me with your musket five and drum? Oh no, sweet lady, I cannot marry you, for I have no hat to put on. Then up she went to her grandpa's chest and got him a hat from the very, very best. She got him a hat from the very, very best, and the soldier put it on. And the song goes on to tell you, at the last part, 
she's like, oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your Muslim vibe and drum? Oh, no, sweet lady, I cannot marry you. And, you know, for I have no this, no that, no this, no that. And at last, I cannot marry you, for I have a little wife at home. So he was doing Sila Lung because he was giving her the impression that he had, he would, he had intent to marry her um, as long as he has everything. And she would go and get him these things. So because she, her heart would beat and flutter, he's going to marry me. And then at the end of the game, he, he's like, forever I cannot marry you because I, I already have a little ha wife at home. So this is the other type of filalang that, you know, I learned in, the, in second grade, you know, of how men can deceive a woman woman you know since we were talking about suitors and things like that all right but feel along really it's done often I, I grew up with it in haiti you know like they might give you a piece of chicken and then um and then you know they take it back and eat it and never give you a piece of it i saw it happening yesterday in um, african tigress's uh video where she would think they would send her to a restaurant that she's gonna find pule lakai pule pei and she never got the poulet pays to the point where they had to go back to a place near her home and have legumes with banana and uh, patatus, right? Sweet potato. So she in in the village of Lekai or Okai, she was doing they were doing her filalang. They would tell her, Oh, the chicken is there, the chicken is there, and it's not there. And it filalang is really for food. You know, you're looking for something to eat and they don't really have it and they say they do. So how is that used in Vodun? Well, that is used because of the building of your expectation to disappoint you to the point of putting you down. Like the girl in the song that I gave you who was put down. And what is it that is Vodun about it is that you may not have been, well, in the girl, she was paying attention. Here's the boats guys passing behind me. She was paying attention. She, her attention was on this soldier to marry her. But in some cases, you know their culture. Me, I know their culture. So you know to stay away from them. You know they don't like you, okay? So stay away from them. You know they're not gonna give you that chicken, so you don't ask for it, okay? And yet, they make you, they want your attention. They want to disappoint you. They want to put you down. Your business you will. A lot of Haitian racists, they like to put you down. They like to call you malpop. Malpop means you're dirty. So that means because your skin, like the, I think I told the story of the white Haitian woman who told me that not even soap will be able to wash me if I do X, Y, Z. Like if I leave my door, uh, if I don't leave my classroom door open, basically. She was, she wanted to insult me. So they get your attention. So to get your attention, because they know you know, but they want to make it like you look stupid, like you didn't know. So they get your attention with the fila lung. And once they get your attention with the fila lung, then they will destroy you. Okay? So you got to be careful. And that guy who came on here at the end telling me good luck, that was basically what he tried to do, but he already, he started with the negative. So most of the time they, they would start with the positive, which is the, which, what they're going to take back. Okay? And then they end up killing you, which is what, the, well, the, what their ultimate goal was. You see, the thing is when you are not within their system, within their community, they probably can't harm you. 